What's up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I decided to do a kind of what do I take as far as vitamins, what is my stack, as they say, type of video. So this is going to be just a super brief overview of what I take in a day, what it does for me, stuff like that. Let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to go over, which is the easiest, I think, is this pantothenic acid. I don't know if this will be showing up on there correctly. It might be backwards. This is the bioactive form of vitamin B5. So originally when I was struggling a lot with my skin, <laughs> wow, have I been through the ringer with my skin. I used to struggle with severe um, back acne, face acne, shoulders, legs, you name it. I was, I really struggled hard with it. I really struggled a lot with it. And I was originally on Diflucan and that pretty much knocked all of the back acne out, but as far as my face, my face was still struggling a lot. So I decided to take, start taking vitamin B5. I had heard good things about it, so I was like, okay, let me try it. Works really well when your system is already clean. So that's that's something to look out for. If you have a poor diet and you're trying to take this, it's, it's probably not going to work the way you want it to. Also, a common mistake I see with people taking vitamin D5 is that they think that more is better. With something as mild as vitamin B5, well, mild for me, I guess, because I think that this foundation DS, like zinc, stuff like zinc and vitamin B6 directly, what are you doing? <laughs> my cat's in the background. Be sure to leave her a hate comment because she's destroying my couch. Where is she at? So anyway, so the, the biggest mistake I see with vitamin B5 is that people take, people thinking that more is better and they're taking like 10 capsules a day. Yes, that does work, <laughs> but I think it's more so you're coming at a plateau because to me, vitamin B5, like I just said, it's very mild. Um, so you don't really need to take a lot of it and you're not going to notice a difference if you take a lot more of it than the average person. Like... It's not going to clear your skin a lot faster if you take 10 of them a day. So I take four of these a day, two in the morning and two at night. So the panathenic acid has 500 milligrams of the vitamin B5, and then it has 49 milligrams, that's an odd number, of calcium. It says you can take, you like, it prefers you to take it with food or something, I don't know. But I kind of ignore that. I don't really need to take it with food. <laughs> so maybe a small snack or something if you're not used to taking supplements. But vitamin B5 is really, really good just to get that glow and to get clear skin. But it's it's kind of a long game thing. I'd say give it about a couple of months to kick in. So the next thing that has probably, geez, probably changed my life is taking vitamin B6. Oh, my camera. Hold on. Taking vitamin B6, this is the one with magnesium. You don't have to get it with magnesium, but I think this is really good for like sugar cravings. If you struggle for, if you struggle with that, um, magnesium, oh yeah, it, it definitely helps. And I've got it in the Foundation DS, which I'm gonna mention in a minute. This is uh, this is the complicated one. You can see how many vitamins are on the back of that. Wow, I, I honestly had no idea how much was in this until I looked at it today. But yeah, it's crazy. So back to the vitamin B6. It's P5P Plus from Claire Labs. I mentioned the brand on this one because it's awesome. This one, Nature's Way, it's okay. I, I don't, it's not my particular favorite, but it does its job. The Claire Labs is actually what you really want. It's, it's just, it's just quality. It actually has 30 milligrams of vitamin B6 per one capsule and 100 milligrams of magnesium. So I take two of these in the morning and two of them at night, just like the pentothenic acid. So let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. And you do not have to take, let me check this again. It says one capsule daily with food. Again, for me, I, I honestly, let me spin it around. <laughs> I honestly do not feel like I need to take this with food at all. It's fine if I take it without. Um, super empty stomach, maybe not. But then again, I've taken this for three years and not had a problem with it on an empty stomach. So these two, I would say, are fine. I, again, I'm not a doctor. I would always be safe and take it with food, especially the first few times around. But 
those are fine. Very, very mild on your stomach. Now, the foundation DS. This is so strong. Try to take this with food, you will die. You will literally keel over because it's so, so, so potent. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what's in it. We've got 175 milligrams of vitamin C, and this is a special formula my doctor makes here in Ohio. I know I just revealed my location. I absolutely hate it here. If you'd like to book me a one-way ticket out of here, thank you. So, but the one great thing about Ohio is that I met my amazing integrated physician here, and he specializes in this, whatever this is. It says IPO, it's from IPO Bioscience in Cleveland, on Cleveland Avenue in Columbus, Ohio. Wow. So in one capsule, we've got 175 milligrams of vitamin C, 10 what I'm guessing is micromilligrams, I'll correct myself if I'm, if I'm not saying it right, of vitamin D, 22.5 milligrams of vitamin E, that's such an odd number, 37.5 milligrams of vitamin B6, so I guess I'm getting double there, 200 micromilligrams of biotin, good for your hair, 25 milligrams of magnesium, 25 milligrams of zinc that is really what you need to be taking if you have pyrrole zinc and vitamin b6 really these are your go-to i mean you don't have to get like a special formula like this that has a million things in it but yeah definitely take both zinc and vitamin b6 finally we have 10 micromilligrams of selenium 20 micromilligrams of molybdenum molybdenum yeah Libdenum, I think. <laughs> so it's got a lot in here. It, it packs a punch. Take it with a full stomach. Not even a snack will cut it. Full meal um, in order for it to absorb correctly. You know, in terms of energy, I would say the zinc does a lot for me. I, I mean, it could be any of these minerals in here, but I've taken straight up zinc and it's it's given me a boost of energy before. So I'd say the zinc in it definitely gives you a boost of energy, but the the vitamin B6 and the vitamin B5, eh, it's more of a feeling when you take all these three together, okay? So you've got, or you take all these, let's see, how many are there? Vitamin B5, magnesium, B6, and zinc. When you take those four together, it creates this, when you have pyrrole disorder, it creates this just feeling of contentment because... With pyrrole, you develop this sort of inner tension that you can't really get rid of just by having a good diet alone, I'm afraid. So I definitely need supplements because I'm always so... Sometimes I can get so irritable and not know why, and then I get, you know, terrible brain fog, and I just can't really function optimally, to put it simply. And I've been taking this for three years, and... I gotta tell you, I, I just wish I started earlier. I wish I started earlier because when I was younger, I had such trouble. I had such tr trouble with just like being anxious and restless all the time. And I just, like my growth was stunted. There was so many things, so many issues that I feel could have been, I mean, this is not a fix all by any means. It could have been resolved if I knew about pyro, if I knew about how many factors come into play. And by the way, guys, this is just one factor, taking your supplements. There are tons of other epigenetic factors, such as getting yourself out of a traumatic environment, making sure your social needs are met. That's a huge one, which I'm going to talk about in another video. Eating well, exercising, that also you need to do to treat your pyro. But supplements are a big one. If I would have known about supplements when I was younger, I would have actually grown because I didn't grow from the time I was four until I was 10. I literally, how many years is that? Six years. I didn't, I would grow maybe an inch, inch a year, maybe a pound. I wasn't gaining weight. I was not getting taller and it was really concerning for my parents. And I just remember that being a horrible not a horrible time, but just like, I just kept wondering what, what is wrong with me? Like genuinely, what is wrong with me? Because it seemed like I wasn't getting the proper nutrients. I wasn't looking back. I, I wasn't energetic like other kids. I was kind of 
just shy and kind of to myself. So I feel like, and it wasn't part of my personality, by the way, before you say, oh, maybe you're just a shy kid. No, I was a different person at home, but I felt like I had so many mental blocks and, and mental anxiety with Pyro that I, I couldn't be myself. I would always just kind of shut down at school and stuff. So I think these pills really, really help with just the overall feeling of contentment. And obviously, if you know the science behind it, you are creating, when you when you absorb your minerals properly, you are creating feel-good neurotransmitters, you know, serotonin, dopamine, melatonin, stuff like that that just makes you feel, <laughs> makes you feel zen, you know? Like you've, uh, it makes me feel content, but also alert and kind of with it. At the same time, I feel like I just think a lot faster and clearer when I'm on top of my game with my health and, this is just one puzzle piece that I feel is definitely required, and I would not be as healthy as I am today without it. So that's my stack. Like I told you, I take, just to recap, two capsules of vitamin B5 in the morning, two capsules of vitamin B6, and one capsule of this Power Punch <laughs> vitamin DS. So I take that whole thing twice a day. So also at night, I guess you could say. So, I hope this video helped some of you, and leave me a comment down below if you struggle with pyro and supplements, what supplements have helped you. Yeah, so I will see you in the next one.